That's the reality for these primates. It's the death of one silverback can mean the end of a generation's legacy. Some young gorillas get taken by poachers, sold into the exotic pet trade, or displayed illegally in private zoos. The others may not survive long without protection, falling prey to predators or human traps. And those who do survive carry the trauma and their behavior more withdrawn, more anxious, and less trusting. It's not just the ecosystem that suffers. It's the very culture and memory of a family unit that gets erased. Deforestation driven by human conflict accelerates the tragedy. In areas of instability, logging becomes rampant and unregulated. Armed groups often fund their operations through illegal timber, stripping forests bare and displacing any wildlife that called it home. As For gorillas, this means entire ranges vanish almost overnight. Trees they've relied on for generations are chopped down and shipped off. The forest canopy that once protected them from predators and heat is gone. Food sources become scarce, forcing them to travel further, bringing them closer to danger. Every tree lost is a thread cut from the intricate web of gorilla survival. And as the land disappears, so too does the chance for the next generation to live wild and free. These aren't just statistics. These are homes. These are ancient, sacred grounds that echo with the footsteps of ancestors, cleared for quick profit and selfish gain. While the world watches from afar, the silence of the forests grows louder every day. Diseases have also entered the picture as a deadly consequence of human proximity. With increasing deforestation and conflict, humans and gorillas come into contact more frequently than ever before. But gorillas have no immunity to many human diseases. What gives us a mild cough could kill them. Duh. The spread of respiratory infections, flu, and even COVID-19 has devastated some populations. And because they live in close family groups, one sick gorilla often means all will be infected. In war-torn regions where medical aid is already scarce, there's no chance of intervention for wildlife. What's worse is that many of these transmissions happen unintentionally, through rangers, tourists, or displaced communities seeking refuge in the forest, as human conflict rages on. It's not just the bullets and bombs that threaten gorillas. 